Good evening, folks. Thanks again for watching. Uh, first off, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers also, the few of you that there are. I appreciate it. This is the first video of the year on the Hugel Culture, and uh, it's not going to be near as extravagant as it was last year. Um, this year I have some things that I know are going to pull me away from the garden. So I planted two plants in the whole Hugu culture. Um, despite that, I am still very pleased and excited about what's going on. So let's take a look. First off, you can, if you remember and you've seen my other videos, you can see that the fruit trees that I planted are uh, taken off. I've got fruit, uh, some apples growing on some of them. Uh, other than that, there is a few things that have volunteered back. Uh, if you remember right, I broadcast some lettuce, some, some variety leaf lettuce. And you can see here that that has volunteered back. I let some of it go to seed last year. And so I've kind of weeded around there just to keep it nice. There's a couple more there. The two things that I did plant this year are two goji berry. And this is one here. There's a tomato plant that volunteered. And here's the other goji berry. Nothing spectacular, but uh, I got them cheap, half price at the local uh, grocery store. They had them on sale, marked off clearance, so what the heck. Um, down here towards this end, the east end, I had all my berries. And I tell you what, you, you can't even recognize it from last year. These here is a strawberry patch, and the strawberries and raspberries have taken off. They're out of control. This is one raspberry bush that I planted last year that was probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches tall. And you can see it's exploded. Strawberries everywhere. Here's another raspberry bush. Again, out of control. You can see the strawberries in there. I've gotten several pickings already. Here's a little apple. And more raspberries. There's two red raspberries and two black raspberries through here. More strawberries down there. My two little lonely blueberry bushes. They're starting. Here's the other one, two different varieties. And again, down at this end was the tomato plants that I started from seed. Obviously some of those fall to the ground, so volunteer tomatoes. There's one, there's another one there. So I haven't done a lot of work. I went through and weeded the places, uh, things that I have planted. Here's a couple more volunteer tomatoes. Good starts, looking healthy. Coming down through here, the strawberries and raspberries are coming to this side. On down this end, full of weeds, full of weeds. There's some more lettuce that come up. And the last ones of this lettuce. So, nothing super exciting, but I am excited to see what did come back. That was pretty awesome. Um, being this is year two, the one thing I would have changed, obviously, look at all these weeds. I should have really spent some time and cover cropped the areas that I didn't plant. Or after, I don't know, after you get your harvest, can you go back and maybe sow some quick clover to sprout? I'm not sure. But that would have done better. Uh, hopefully I can get it into wood chips. That's what I'd really like to do as an end result. Other than the hugel swale, the little mini orchard of all these trees, I had one over here. Looks like it didn't make it. So we'll dig him up. But the rest look good. The other day I transplanted a persimmon tree. This size tree was hard for me. I did use the backhoe to dig it up, but you can see a lot of the leaves are wilted, but there are still some green ones on there that are saving. And so hopefully it's going to make it. Down here in the flat garden, the only thing I planted here this year was uh, four rows of watermelons and two rows of cantaloupe. Just because I know those are something that 
I can plant and let go. I don't have to worry with it. I'm not going to be putting anything up, preserving it. So kids love melons. So there we'll go. I've already got some few starts here. There's some. That's cantaloupe. There's another one. There's a few there. Walk on over here. Watermelon, same thing. There's one. Another watermelon miner. So, doing good. Uh, like I said, nothing real exciting going on this year, but I, I am very happy with what's returned. So, until next time, thanks for watching.